Hey everyone, so I figured I would come on and do a tutorial on scrapbooking. Yes, I know lately I've been doing a whole crap lo load of scrapbooking shit. But, you know what, right now that's what I'm into. So I might as well just continue what I'm into. Um, don't ask me what the hell I'm doing with my hands. Uh, so, what I'm basically going to be doing this layout is cutting down an eight and a half by 11 inch paper cut it down to an eight by eight paper to fit on a 12 by 12 it seems like a shit show but guess what it's actually quite easy but before you do that, you want to pick out your pictures that you want on the page. I'm going to be doing two separate pages. Um, I might not do them all in this one video, but I'll give you kind of a hint of what to do. Um, so you need your pictures that you know that you want to use on this page and then you want to choose the colors of your papers. Uh, but for this particular page, I'm probably going to do the black paper that comes with the 12 by 12 that comes preloaded. Not all scrapbooks come preloaded with this black crappy cardstock. But I'm going to use it anyway. I'm going to use this pinkish salmon, salmon, this pink colored paper for it. Okay, so not here goes nothing. Okay, so what we're going to need for this part of the video is your eight and a half by 11 page, your eight and a half, not eight and a half, eight by eight page. I use two paper clips to keep the eight by eight on the eight and a half by eleven page. Now you can use scissors, but this makes it look frankly shitty. This is what I use my paper trimmer by Fiskars or however the hell you say it to actually cut. Whoa, that was not good. The little footin' fell off. Where the hell? The little footin' fell off. So, before I continue, where the hell did it fall off? And so it's extra, which I don't know. I don't know where the hell you came from. So I'm gonna just find room and put you in. And no, you don't fit the. Of course, why would you fit somewhere where I want you to fit, right? So. I know you came from here, so I just fit it in anyway. So, you better not fall out, you jackamo. Okay, so put that down for now. So, what I do is put the paper clips down, you idiot. Don't you love it how I talk to myself while I do a video? So, I'm going to take one of the paper clips. Put it down over here so it kind of holds it in place while I cut it. And this other paper clip. I'm very anal about how it looks. Extremely anal. I'm putting it up here. I'm going to ensure it looks good on the back and on the front. Now, it doesn't really matter if this is the back or if that's the front or front and back. It doesn't really matter. So now, actually, let me move the 12 by 12 so it can be more steady while I cut. And here goes the dog down the stairs barking away like she always does. Okay, so I'm going to lift this up. Making sure that 
stay up there, please. Making sure that this excess part, let me move this back. This excess part is beyond the blade, which is a little risen, so that's where the blade's gonna be cutting. So you wanna feel it, and then put it down. And then take the blade, which is this orangey part, and slide it through, putting pressure on it. And I will be using this excess part for something else. What exactly? I don't know yet. So then I like putting the blade back over that way so I can have it coming towards me. But you can have it done whatever way. Set it up. Put that down. Nope, that's not going to work. It needs to be down a little bit. If it's not really cut like how I want it, I'm going to take my handy dandy scissors. Yes, I said scissors, people. And then just cut it, which I'm totally screwing this up, but you know what? It's so good. Because it doesn't have to be exactly like this. It is. Okay, got that. But then take off the paper clips. Basically, the other paper clips. Stupid. So, now what color is today's? Okay, so I'm gonna put the eight by eight. And a 12 by 12. You can have it set up any way you want it. But i rather have it more centered. I'm using my Elmer's tape runner. And basically putting some on to make it stick in place. Because I'm going to try being Little Miss Anal about this crap, right? Put it right there. Why do I slam it? I don't know. Extra, extra, extra. Read all about it. Okay, so that's part one of it, okay? So, to make it more poptastic. Uh, okay, so sin. Okay, when you get... um. It the eight by eight and the twelve by twelve. You're gonna doctor it up any way you want. So I'm gonna be using some of the scraps I have, and possibly even some of the confetti I have from other scraps that I have. So why not make it confetti, right? So with the extras you have, it doesn't have to be like uniform. It can be anywhere. In any way you want. So we're gonna kind of like make this like an 80s theme page. So if we're gonna need scissors, it can be shop and or like the kitty. How the hell did I get there? Kitty scissors. Alright. So, yes, Nikki, I did write your name on here. But I didn't like crapper. But I didn't like how I wrote it. Because it looks ugly. Even though this is going to be your page and a scrapbook, I don't care. I don't like it. So I'm going to go a little over the corners and then cut it off. Well, I, I want to assume that it's going to be looking like an 80s theme. Which... Who knows with me may not even happen. I cut this. Anyway, 
I cut it one more time to kind of have extra running out. Confetti time! Kind of go make sure you guys are seeing this. Right. Where else the other side of that blue paper that I had? Great. Okay, so but just another free will it, if you will. Okay, so actually know it. I'm gonna use a blue ribbon. Can make everything pop a little bit. Pop it like it's hot. Pop it like it's hot. Don't ask me why all of a sudden I'm singing rap songs. I got new kids playing in the background. Why? Because I'm a little bit tapped. And FYI, they do make glitter paper. I highly suggest if you're making your scrapbook for the first time, do not buy the glitter paper. It will drive you to drink. I mean, legit drive you to drink. Because I don't know how many times I called up my friends, Nikki and Beth, to complain about stupid glitter. The stupid glitter paper won't stick. The pictures won't stick. Glitter paper sucks. I have to rewrap the red ribbon because... I took a little too much. So then I'm going to cut a little bit and put it right over the corner. And then I'm going to start placing the pictures. When I start scrapbooking, I never have a set out plan in the way I want the pictures. This is one thing about the ribbon and the tape runner. The ribbon, if you don't hold it, will go up into the tape runner and then you're going to have to fight to get it out. And it's a bitch to get out. Because then you have to stop everything that you're doing. Okay, so then... So far, this is what it looks like. Let me back up. Actually, put that down. That's what it looks like so far. So, I'm gonna, after I get the pictures in, trim down any excess that's hanging off of the 8x8. Eight eight. So, I'm gonna go like this. A little bit. Whoa, sorry, everyone. So then I'm going to take, is this going to be Nikki's page, or Nicole, actually hearing people call her Nicole, it's extremely foreign for me, this to me, her name's not Nicole, it's Nikki, or Tricky Dicky, put her over blue, I should have thought about this a little bit more. Actually, this will be me and Tricky Dicky's page. Shit, I should have gone a little bit. And I think I'm going to be needing more tape runner in here. I think. Go a little bit over. Crap, stay. Yeah. Make it a little bit of an angle. Now I've known Nikki for God well over 20 years. Gonna be going maybe close to 30 by now since the what's the ice cats days. And they the ice cats came in I wanna say ninety-four? They left 2000-something. 
not exactly sure what the date is, but if you know anything about the Worcester Ice Cats, please comment down below. Actually, yeah, that kind of works out better the way that I did it without really thinking. And this picture was taken at my mom's surprise 60th. And I'm currently put it in. I like that to shake off any excess glitter, which it doesn't work as if you can tell. There's still glitter on the paper, but hey, you know what? That's fine. Now you can either take the scissors or the page cutter. And trim down the X axis. The extra crap that's hanging over the 12 by 12. Because this will not fit into the page protectors if it's hanging over. And like the top will, but the sides will not fit in. And that's basically one layout right here. Okay, so for this page, okay, I had already put the blue 8x8 eight eight on the 12x12. 12 12. Now I'm just going to lay out the pictures so I can kind of see where I want them. And this is obviously Beth's page. Now, the way I'm going to probably do this one, I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to free ball it like I do everything. Well, not everything, but good part. So I can kind of have a visual of what I want to have on it and where I want on it. So you know, I'm going to have this one down here. And then one up there. Okay, so with that being said, okay. Can I have a good idea? So Nick, Nick, Nick. Is Nick Carter's her favorite factory boy? Oh, let's blame Nick for everything. Bethy, I love you, honey. At least I think I love you. So, kind of like the one I did for Nikki's. Actually, you know what? I'll do something different. I'm going to have ribbon go around the 8x8 eight eight this time. Green's her Beth's favorite color, so let's... Do black, blue, and green. Maybe a hint of silver because I do have silver glitter. Uh, or glitter ribbon. But like I was saying before, crap, and I did this too short. But you know what? That's okay because I can kind of go a little bit over to kind of overlap it. Um, now, I haven't known Beth as long as I've known Nikki, but I've known her long enough to know her little quirks, if you will. Do what the hell, come back over this way. I love my tripod, but I hate my tripod. Which I'm going to probably need more tape runner in here soon. Which I should... Hmm. When in doubt, use a tape run on yourself. They kind of get it going. Yo, come on. Now, if the tape runner gets on the A by E or anywhere else, that's fine because guess what? It will help. Keep the pictures in and or if you have any extra glitter keep the glitter on the page go like that so with else the other green one there it's right here if you pay attention to me you put your crap danielle Overlap. 
slap it right here. Like, like I said before, I got new kids playing in the background. This is from the Hanging Tough Live VHS. Okay, so, anyway. Uh, no, kids, VHS tapes is what we had before DVDs and the streaming services that we have today. And heaven forbid that you miss a program that you wanted to watch, you can't go back and watch it back in the day. Because we didn't have DVR, we didn't have on demand, we didn't have a lot of the stuff that we have today. And honestly, I'm kind of glad I grew up when I did. Because, face it, um, us kids in the 80s and late or early 90s are the privileged ones. I know I'm probably going to get a lot of hate mail or hate comments and get off. But you know what? I would have grown up when I did instead of today. But that's my opinion and you know what? My opinions sometimes suck. I'll admit that my opinions suck. Okay, so kind of framed out the blue. Now this page, like I said... Beth loves the Backstreet Boys. So, this will be a nod to her precious Backdoor Boys. There, Beth. I said it. Backdoor Boys. And the Backdoor Boys... Hold on. And the Backdoor Boys suck. I have to take a sip of my liquor courage. Okay, so. Before I add any other more... Any other more... Any more rip into this... I think I might stop putting in the pictures, and then if I want to, I can add on more ribbon and or more details. Okay, so there's my tape right now. And so I'm just doing it like this, because I'm not exactly sure where. The cutoff's gonna be. Now I've said I did this the complete opposite. Good going, Daniel. Good going. You know what? As long as it's kind of how I wanted it to be, and that's fine, right? All right. And I cannot cut off my boys. So this one's gonna be like that. I could go kind of frame this out like this. No. This Yes, I know I played with this before, but kind of like playing it more as I go. Hey, Beth, you got green glitter on you. So I'm going to plop her like so. Oh, you may. Let me tell you, scrapbooking is an expensive, and this is my other tape runner I had, the blue one, which is just, which is the same as the yellow one, yellow, yellowy orangey one. And I just ran out of tape runner, so, while I'm doing this, I might as well show you. There's a button here, and a button here. Plop it open. Plop that out. Come on, come out. Thank you. And here goes Miss Liz barking again. So we have got a single handedly 
keep these tape running people in business. Okay, so then you, knowing that's not supposed to happen, line up like the little dots here to go in here. Make sure it's in like that. Flip this. Come on, you little idiot. Like that. Now it's filled. Again, when I, this time I'm going to use my shop scissors, trim off any of the excess hanging over crap. I know this is so boring. At least you get to listen to New Kids on the Block. This is from the Hanging Tough album. I know way too much about New Kids. Um... Yeah. I mean, when I say no too much about new kids, I know way too much. But again, so doesn't every fan know too much about their favorite group, right? Am I right? Right. Okay, so now. To add some embellishments, actually that one came came out good. The one with her in the near the ocean. She's collecting seashells by the ocean. Yes, I'm not right. I know that. Actually, where the hell's my pen? See, this is the thing when you work. You don't really clean up as you go. You should always clean up as you go, people. Always. Always, and I put best. Actually, not. Let's go. Yeah. I don't like how I did that one. So this is when I when I don't like how I write something goes on the back. I still don't like how I wrote that. Okay, there we go. That one's better. So then. Come on, stupid. I cut off what I don't like. Cut it off. Actually, I'm going to rewrite it one more time. This is where I become extremely anal. Put it, come on, stupid, right in the middle. I'm gonna frame it out in silver, I believe. I wanna do. Why don't you play? Yes, I am gonna frame it out in silver to make it. Pop a little bit. Pop it like it's hot. Pop it like it's hot. I know I did it way too over. And whatever excess, since I have it already glued. Oh, you little skink. 
put it right there to kind of, so I don't waste it. Normally I wouldn't journal now or add any embellishments. I would normally wait, but you know what? Why not, right? So I can kind of show you guys how I do some of my stuff. I should have a trash can over here, but do I know? Why do I always go too oh, too much? Take too much, why? Because I'm a dingleberry. You know, that's okay because I'll add like little details to it. This freaking saccharin. Function, I ain't even acting. Hey, five, you still got packed in. Favorite line. which I'm surprised I didn't fall off the table. And that is basically the page. So I'm going to end this video for now. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.